boys finally conked out? Yep, yeah, in a couple hours I'll be up and at him again, so... And you can't wait. That's right. Right now they're sleeping, so what do you want to do? You want to watch the parade? Um, no. Uh, okay. Uh, let me call the Italian place, see if they're open, get you some pizza. <laughs> pizza? Uh, uh-uh, no, no, no. I don't think so. All right. Uh, do you want to watch DVDs of when I played Junior? I was good. <laughs> really? Really? No, 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 no. Uh -uh. So, Ooh. what is it that you want me to do to you? Yes. And then the silver-haired king took Queen Annabelle and Princess Emmeline back to the Enchanted Castle, where they lived happily ever after. The end. I hope you liked it. I know you have lots of toys from the toy store, and that's nice and all, but Mommy thought it would be special and meaningful to make something just for you. Thank you, Mommy. Oh, of course, my lovey. Why don't you bring this upstairs and bring down another book for us to read? You know what? It's Christmas, and I'm sure that Annie's got a lot of people that she wants to see today, so give your Mommy a big kiss and a hug. Say goodbye. Okay, give me I love you so much. Give me kisses. I love you so much. So, what's your plan? Same plan. As I have always had, Ryan, I just want my daughter in my life. I am aware of that, Annie. What I'm asking is what you plan to do about it. We both love Emma. We both want to be with her. So I think if we approach things rationally, we can come up with a way to make it work. And you expect me to believe that you're serious? Yes, because I am. I want to come up with a way to deal with everything that benefits all of us, especially our daughter. I don't think it's going to take some judge to make decisions that we are perfectly capable of making ourselves. There's no reason we can't act like adults. Ah. Uh. You? Acting like an adult? Oh, that would be a first. So you're really gonna do this? You're gonna... You're just gonna leave? Just like that? You were ready to leave yourself not so long ago. That's what I do. That's... That's me, you know? That's not... I mean, you're a constant around this place. You're... You're ingrained in this place. You're part of its heart and soul. I mean, What's Pine Valley without you guys? So we'll always be home, Jake. But it's time to step back, you know? And your mother deserves to be able to rest and enjoy herself. <laughs> we both do. Yeah. Well, you, you want to rest, take a vacation. You don't have to uproot the whole, the whole thing. No, you don't have to, darling, but besides, you look, want to. <laughs> it's not as if we're going to be all alone down there. We're going to... Lots of friends, family, mm -hmm. Tara, Kelsey. Yeah. You get a lot of friends right here, too. You know, you got a couple of great sons that love you. One's better than the other, but Tad's working on himself. <laughs> I'm just saying, what, what, what can I do to make you guys stay here? What can I, what can I do? Well, you can't, son. It's, uh, it's natural to resist change. But often it's for the best, you know? I mean, new possibilities, new directions to look into. But we'll always remember where we came from, and this will always be home. So home is where the heart is. Yeah. You can look at it another way. You can carry a piece of home in your heart, so it's with you wherever you go. And I have a big piece of Pine Valley here. It'll always be there.